right welcome to my channel today uh, I have got few requests not much a uh, few requests for people are facing some of the challenge to complete this badge so they were asking me if I can help you so I thought let's make this video as well and publish it out so this is this is basically based on platform events so where you will be getting some task and uh, challenges based on uh, based on platform event so basically you need to cover uh, 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 all areas which are related to the platform events only so here you will be getting three challenge since I have already completed it so I'm just telling you people you will get the three challenge where which where you will have to you know make some changes in flow that is your first channel and second challenge you need to uh, create you need to you know existing class they will be giving you where you need to just tweak a little of code and you know logic to pass it out so fine let's let's quickly uh, jump into where actually you are for for where where you let's quickly jump to to the challenge for what reason you are actually watching this video i don't want to you waste your time so first first challenge what we have is subscriber mission mission allocation events so so here we will be provided a one flow which is existing flow which is already created by a salesforce so here what it's saying is as an integration developer your focus is on enhancing the existing submit mission flow within the mission management system a flow has already been set that sets the mission status is pending so uh, let's quickly quickly open into my org also uh, let's me open so quickly if you open and uh, yeah by the way if you people doesn't know you have to have uh, org created based on uh, this badge so you need to fill a form and get special configuration so make sure you do that and then only under that org only you you know start your challenge so i'll quickly open here i can see uh, submit mission submit mission is there so what what since it's already being created and you know it's already there i have completed my challenge so what you will be seeing here is you will be having one operation from your for once you first time open that so you will have only one operation which will do an update so in a, in this update what you will see your mission is getting updated to uh, my bad mission, ah, sorry correct so uh, mission is getting updated to uh, pending value since it has so where will always have a value assigned a uh, pending so this I haven't created uh, this is created by Salesforce itself. So if you if you read carefully, they have they have given everything. You just need to read it carefully and with the peace of mind. So if you read it here, a flow has already set set up that sets the mission status to pending. Once the user submits a mission via submission button, the mission record button on the mission record a resource variable named where mission number is used to pass a mission number into a flow so what i quickly do is i'll just uh, just open quickly and show you people what it means this so i'll just open a name which is a auto number here okay i'll not open much field so this is the one it's saying it will be provided into this variable got it so it will be passed since it's also launch so pretty much that much you have to do you have to create enhance uh, submit flow so that automatically resume whenever the mission allocation platform event is received so since i mentioned when you will open this or you will have some of the predefined features so you need to make sure mission allocation event is there if it's there make sure you will have a contact id and mission number created into that so just make sure these settings are there 
these two fields are there before moving to the challenge so these are the prerequisite things you need to follow it so let's go back what it says so the crucial step for signing mission to interested uh, interested drone pilot in your solution the flow should initially pause after the status to is set to pending and resume operation upon detecting mission allocation event so you just need to you just need to focus on how i need to pause a flow and you need to focus on how i will resume my flow based on uh, based on detecting a mission allocation event message so this is all you have to do you can go through the other part i'll just quickly jump on what needs to be done out for this challenge so let's quickly move on so since i have told this step will already be there you can add one more so for for to get a mission id you need to you need to get a record based on the var mission so if you do that you will get a salesforce id of uh, this mission uh, record and then you need to add a wait element so this is the key area guys where you need to clearly focus what i need to do here so when you click here you need to see you will be seeing two tabs wait condition and resume event okay now in wait condition what you need to put it in wait condition you need to select a uh, you need to select a condition when to wait under when to wait that is always wait so no matter what this this flow should get paused no matter what because i have not added any condition there's no condition has been added so no matter what this pause once it do these two steps it has to it has to get paused that's all now when to resume so if you see two two steps here two tabs here a specific time since they have already told the resume when resume flow should update uh, sorry uh, the resume operation upon detecting a mission allocation yeah so that you need to do when you detect a mission event so you need to you know select here a mission allocation uh, event name and you need to filter out which you need so i need only when only wo only that mission which is passed on where mission uh, variable okay so mission number will be so in this mission number you will be having a auto number of mission record fine you need to add here you for that yeah after that you need to have one record variable created for mission allocation underscore c you need to create a resource unless or if you don't create it you won't be able to store it in anywhere so you need to go create new resource select variable at the type you need to select is record here you need to search a object that's all you need to do nothing else and then after you do that you need to since you have stored your mission uh, event in this variable now you need to add one more action that is update record if you do that you should be able to achieve it so you need to here select specific condition uh, to identify record and then you select the object then you need to search based on uh, the based on the auto number which you have been given on auto launch flow and then after that you need to set a mission pilot which is a contact lookup uh, mission dot mission dot contact id which will be populated in event and then you need to set a status to picked so this is pretty much simple which you need to do that and if you do that try to submit and check whether and also i would suggest go through the videos uh, go through the salesforce education links where they have come clearly said what are the you know different types of paid elements what you need to do what this condition does and what that condition does you need to understand that 